Why, hello there and welcome back. I'm Mrs. O, here to support my parents, students, and teachers with everything math-related, ed tech tips, and educational resources. Today, teachers, this video is going to be a quick little overview of some things that I wish I knew before using Whiteboard Chat. So whether you're new or you've been using Whiteboard Chat for some time, these management tips are sure to help your lesson run a bit more smoothly. So let's check them out. To begin, we'll be giving attention to where the management tools are located in this section here. To help keep things organized and effectively manage the classroom, you have several management options. Selecting the screw icon opens up the board settings. I strongly recommend looking through this area to select options that will work best for you and your students. So depending on the task and grade level, this is where you can adjust the tools that students can access. So if you're working with younger students, like first or second graders, you may want to limit the tools to simple or very simple tools where they can only draw, erase, text, and move objects. For older students, you may consider enabling certain capabilities for students to use, such as video recording features and to enable or disable immersive reader. Selecting this tab allows you to customize tools for students. This is where you can select tools that you don't want them to have access to, like the calculator, during math instruction, and much, much more. And if you team teach, this is where you can retrieve a link to invite your co-teacher to join your board as well. And he or she will have full access to the board and be able to join students board and help monitor. Once you're done making all of your selections, just make sure to save it. Next up, the participants icon. Now you certainly want to familiarize yourself with this particular feature because here you can see the student's name and the timestamp of when they last accessed the board. Down below you have the option of locking the class board or specific pages. This definitely comes in handy when you're assigning a time test and you need to students to stop at any given point in time or you need to grab their attention. This also prevents them from accessing the board outside of the class period. One very important thing to keep in mind, and I wish I knew before I got started, is that once the link is shared, students have access to the board, even if teachers are not actively logged on. So if you've posted a link in the chat box or in a newsletter, it is active and students can join at any time, unless you lock the board. Whiteboard Chat has also included a feature for those students that tend to get lost and have difficulty keeping up with what page we're on. Here's a side-by-side -side view with the teacher's board on the left and student board on the right. And by selecting follow teacher page, that as the teacher turns a page, the student's page automatically changes as well. More classroom management features that I'm sure you can appreciate are found here. This is where you would come to find the level of student engagement and activity on a board by selecting View Student Engagement Report. Here you can see how often a student has actually been on the board. Identifying students by name. It also includes the amount of activity as well as a timestamp. Here is where you can also find the option to lock all objects on a page so that you don't accidentally delete anything as you're setting up the boards. And to view a completed board from a student's vantage point, you can select Open Demo Student, and this will allow you to see what the board will look like from a student's point of view. Here's where you can also find the option to poll students. Select the students that you'd like to have receive the poll. Select Vote, type in your poll question, since I've used this polling feature before, any questions that I've typed will automatically be generated, so I'll just go ahead and select one of them. Once done, click Send, and you notice that the uh, poll automatically shows up on my board, but let's take a look at it from the Students board. Select the choice, and you can see the answer choice pops up at the top. Since I only have one demo student uh, participating in this poll, you only see one answer choice. However, as more students enter in an answer, then that will change. Well, I hope these pointers have proven to be helpful and you're able to avoid some of the classroom management concerns that are sure to arise when you're using whiteboard chat. But if you apply some of these techniques, I guarantee it will make things run more smoothly. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out some of these other videos that review some of the basic features and includes great lesson ideas. Check the description box down below for direct links. 
As always, thank you for watching. And to continue to support my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to share it with your colleagues. And until next time, take care.